Good morning, my dear friends. My topic is purpose of life. Purpose of life. There are two questions philosophers and thinkers are struggling to answer. Question number one, who are you? Number two, what are the purpose and the meaning of your life? Still today, young people and adults are hunting for the answers to these questions. My friends, do you know who you are? Have you discovered what is the purpose and the meaning of your life? When Queen Esther was facing difficulties with such questions, Mordecai sent the answer to Queen Esther. Let us read Esther chapter 4, 13 and 14. And Mordecai told them to answer Esther. Don't think in your heart that you will escape in the king's palace any more than all the other Jews. For if you remain completely silent at this time, relief and deliverance will arise from the Jews from another place. But you and your father's house will perish. Yet, who knows whether you have come to the kingdom for such a time as this? My friends, Queen Esther was very clearly understood the answer. And she did an amazing thing to exhibit her purpose of life. Let us read Esther chapter 4, 15 and 16. Then Esther told them to reply to Mordecai, Go, gather all the Jews who are present in Shushan and fast for me. Neither eat nor drink for three days, night or day. My maids and I will fast likewise. And so I will go to the king, which is against the law. And if I perish, I perish. My friends, God has placed a few of you in America, not just to live a comfortable life only, God has placed a few of you in Canada, not just to live a content life. God has placed a few of you in the United Kingdom, not to experience wealth in your life. Or God has placed wherever you are now, because of many people are waiting for your hand. Many people are waiting for you to deliver them in Jesus Christ. Many people are waiting for you to call and comfort them. My friends, if you are not sure about the purpose in your life, if you are not certain about the divine calling in your life, here is the prophecy. Proverbs chapter 11, verse 25. The generous soul will be made rich, and he who waters will also be watered himself. My saints, if you want to be happy, make others happy. If you want your prayers to be answered, you intercede for others first. And if you want to be delivered, deliver others first. Remember, Jesus has purpose and meaning in your life. Let's pray. Father God, thank you so much for helping us to understand our purpose and meaning in our lives. Please, dear Lord, make us, mold us, use us for your cause. Thank you so much for using us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.